Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on obstetrics risk color coding for pregnant woman. There are four color codes, which are white, green, yellow, and red. White color code is for low-risk cases, which can be managed in clinics. Green color code is managed by medical officers in health clinics. Yellow color code requires urgent referral to hospitals that have ONG specialist, or FMS in health clinics within 48 hours. Red color code are the most high-risk cases, and they require urgent admission to the hospital, followed by shared care by ONG specialist and FMS in health clinic. First we look at the cases of code white, which are the lowest-risk cases. Gravita 2-5. to five. No past or current obstetric complication. No past or current medical complication. Maternal age more than 20 years old and less than 40 years old. Period of amenorrhea more than 37 weeks and less than 40 weeks. Estimated fetal weight more than 2.5 kilograms and less than 3.5 kilogram. Next, for code green cases that need referral to medical officers. Mothers who are rhesus negative. Mother with pre-pregnancy weight or booking weight less than 45 kilograms. Associated medical complications including psychiatry and physical disability. Previous gynecological problems like fibroid, ovarian cyst, or gynecological surgery. Unsure of dates. History of three consecutive miscarriages. Past obstetric history of caesarean section. Pregnancy-induced hypertension, eclampsia, or diabetes. Past history of perinatal death, baby's birth weight less than 2.5 kilograms or more than 4 kilograms. Third or fourth degree perineal tears. Retained placenta. Postpartum hemorrhage. An instrumental delivery. Other green coding cases include reduced fetal movement after 32 weeks of pregnancy. High BP more than 140-90 millimeters of mercury without proteinuria. HB 9 to 11. Two episodes of glycosuria. Protein 1 plus and above. Excessive weight gain more than 2 kilograms in a week. Maternal BMI prior to pregnancy or at booking of less than 16, or 30 to less than 40. Symphysiofundal height less than or more than POA or POG, discrepancy more than 3 centimeters. Malpresentation at 36 weeks. Or fetal head not engaged at 37 weeks in a prima gravida. GDM on diet control without complications. Static weight gain or loss of weight in one month. Maternal age 35 to 39 years old. Prima gravida gravita 6 and above, birth interval less than 2 years or more than 5 years, and maternal height less than 145 centimeters. Next, we look at medium risk cases that are coded yellow. These cases need to be referred to FMS or ONG specialist. Mother with positive HIV status. Mother with positive Hep B status. Mother with TB, malaria, or positive VDRL status. BP 14090 to 160100 mm of mercury without proteinuria or urine protein 1 plus or more mother with diabetes on treatment or with complications reduced fetal movement at 32 weeks or more with other risk factors POA or POG more than 41 weeks mother with medical problems that require joint care with hospital side mothers 40 years old and older single mother or teenage mother HB 7 to 11 with no symptoms Placenta previa without APH. Maternal pyrexia more than 38 degrees or more than 3 days. Asymptomatic cardiac disease. Addiction to drugs, cigarettes, or alcohol. Antenatal VTE score 3 or more. Multiple pregnancy, mental illness, or BMI 40 or more. Lastly, let's look at the red code cases, which require urgent hospital admission. Cases of eclampsia. Preeclampsia, where the BP is more than 160,100 mm of mercury, or high BP with proteinuria 2 plus and more. BP more than 160,100. Heart disease with symptoms like shortness of breath and palpitations. Dyspnea on exertion or respiratory rate more than 22 breaths per minute. Uncontrolled diabetes with capillary glucose level more than 11 mmol, L and urine ketone 2 plus or more. APH including miscarriage. Abnormal fetal heart rate, less than 110 beats per minute for gestation more than 22 weeks, or fetal heart rate more than 160 at more than 32 weeks gestation. HB less than 7 are having symptomatic anemia. Premature uterine contractions. PPROM or PROM. Seizures. Fever with signs of sepsis like lethargy, dehydration, and tachycardia. Suspected dengue cases, with symptoms like fever with headache, joint pain, stomach ache, vomiting, and diarrhea. Signs and symptoms of DVT or pulmonary embolism. That's all for this video. Thank you.